Hello, my name is Mario Bergeron. I'm here at the Embedded Vision Summit at the Xilinx booth, and I'd like to show you a demo that I'm showing. So, we're showing the uh, Pico Z, the Avnet Pico Z Embedded Vision Kit, which is basically a uh, video development platform that's based on our Pico Z SOM. Our system on modules allow the customers to get to market faster by reusing an existing Zinc circuit and then developing their own carrier specific to their application. Basically, if we have our visible image, and if we select a very simple uh, filter to start off with, the Sobel filter that we can select here, uh, we can start by implementing a software version. So as you can see, uh, with the software version, we're not running real time. As you can see, there's only a few frames being executed every second. And also, one of the CPUs is being used at 100% utilization, which indicates that it's not a good task to be doing this high-resolution video on the ARM processor. If we move that, that computer vision function to the hardware, we can see that first the super utilization will, come, will drop down. So we've freed up our CPU, our ARM processor. And now that it's being executed in hardware, we can see we're running real time. Right, so, so you see in this image fusion example, we're combining the visible image with the thermal image. So for the visible data path, the visible image, we're going to once again take the edges that we talked about previously. But for the visible image, which is much smaller and has a little bit of a, a warping effect, we need to de-warp that image to align it with the visible content and resize it to the final visible image's side. Then here we just simply combine Wherever those edges, we'll keep those edges, and otherwise we'll keep the thermal content uh, encoded with a heat map. So we get our final image fusion image here. The second uh, filter that we can look at is actually combines the visible image with the thermal um, camera. So image fusion. So once again, if we implement this in software, let's reduce the edge sensitivity here. We'll see that we have, once again, just a few frames per second of execution. And if we move to hardware, we'll free up that CPU and get real-time execution once again. So the alignment of the two images, as we can see, uh, consists of uh, not only resizing the visible image, which is very small, but also warping it. Because we have two cameras here, which have a parallax effect, the fact that they're pretty wide apart. So we need to correct for that in software. So it's a calibration phase that's done in software. That's done manually here with this little interface. So we can see that if we don't do the warping, the two images you can see are misaligned, right? So we're not quite matching up the thermal content with the visible image. Whereas if we load a default calibrated setting here, so we're only going to show what's in this box here inside the visible image and then we get an alignment of the thermal and the visible. All right, so in conclusion, what I've shown you is how to use the Xilinx Zinc device to accelerate computer vision applications by moving certain functions to hardware, in addition to um, implementing sensor fusion. We're combining many different types of sensors. So the Avnet PicoZ Embedded Vision Kit is fully supported by the new Xilinx revision stack. And if you want more information, please visit the picoz.org website for more information on the kit. This is Mario Bergeron with Avnet at the Embedded Vision Summit. Thank you very much.